Hello everybody, Zenokami here from Essence of Zen. Today we're going to bring you a sorta of simple, sorta of kinda of advanced for certain users tutorial on how to change your default uh, Python uh, stuff in Windows 7. Uh, this should also work for Windows XP, Windows 8, as long as you can get into your registry. So, uh, you may be wondering why would you need to change your default pathways and etc. The reason why is because a lot of people may have multiple versions of Python. The reason why for that is because Python had a major switch from 2.x, the x being any version you know, of 2, so 2.1, 2.2, whatever, uh, when they transferred from 2.x to 3.x, and they lost a lot of backwards compatibility with a lot of the plugins, a lot of applications, maybe like companies, builds, and etc. So anytime you have new blood coming into Python fresh, you know, they may go with 3.3 as of to date, the most latest version of Python. And because of that, um, they didn't want to like make, they didn't want to make 2.x obsolete and, you know, a legacy type of, type of deal. So, um, and I also want to state this very clearly if you are uncomfortable with opening up your registry you know your reg edit uh, this video may not be for you I will look into a way to create a simple command file that changes these values for you but that's gonna be kinda difficult because uh, you have to know where your folders and stuff are placed and etc but anyway so in order to you know so most people may have uh, two versions of Python downloaded on their computer for me, I have 2.7 and 3.3, yeah. When I go to, let's say, one of my programs, like hash testing.py, I can right click it, edit with idle, and boom, the, the code comes up, nice, fine, uh, color coordinated, that, that, that's, that's dandy, that's all fine and dandy. Now if I press L5 to compile and run it, it opens up in, in Python 2.7.6 right here, which isn't that old because uh, uh, because uh, Python actually switched to 3.x after Python 2.5 I think or 2.0 yeah 2.5 I do believe, and when they created these new features for Python 3.x, they didn't want to leave people hanging with who was still in Python 2.x, so they actually went back and added on. 2.6 and 2.7 to add some of the features that are in 3.x to 2.x. That may be confusing with, you know, I'm saying number dot x, but I mean, <laughs> it, it, that that's what it is. So, if you want to be able to simply right click your programs, or edit, click edit and idle, have it come up in the shell, or the, the code rather, and then when you press F5 to compile and run it, if you don't want it to automatically go to 2.7.6, but rather 3.3.0, I think is the, the full exact version of it, uh, what you need to do is basically, well, first, if you, if you want to um, actually edit in Python 3.3, what you can do is open up your 3.3 idle. So I can go here, that's 2.7 again, sorry. And then you can't see my uh, bar because uh, I'm, I have a dual screen setup and I only have the bigger monitor uh, being captured. So you want to open up 3.3.0, uh, go to File, go to Open, and you can actually find your code there. Open it up and up in this, well, and then your coding will come up and when you compile that particular window it'll go into 3.3.0 but that's a little annoying for me because I use 3.3 as my main so what we're gonna do is basically edit the pathways and fix all this default crap so what you wanna do is click your windows starter button or your keyboard button and where it says search programs and files or if you're on windows 8 you know just go into your um, I don't know what they call it now. It used to be called Metro, and just start typing reg edit. That's R E G E D I T, no spaces, all one word, and you should see under programs reg 
edit.exe or at least reg edit depending on how your system is set up to show your files you want to click that and then you're going to get this annoying little bugger of a message saying are you sure you want to open this it could make your computer change and yada yada data which again you know disclaimer you are you are about to edit some uh, well, you're about to be in a window where you can edit some major important things that Windows uses as its foundation. You do not want to screw these up. If you do, you could ruin your system, have to do like a system restore or perhaps even a reinstall of your system. And we all know how annoying that can be because I have my precious games and I don't want to lose them. And I know you're, th you're saying, hey, you have Steam, you got Steam Cloud. Well, yes, but then there are also the mods and all the, 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 the Nexus stuff and I don't want to lose those. Well, then why don't you back them up? Let's get off a tangent. So you want to click yes, and you're gonna get this file or this window rather. Did you never, did you know? I think I said this before in the video recording, but everything in Windows is a window. That's why they call it Windows. That's a little funny thing there. You want to go to hkey underscore classes dot root. Open that up. You want to go to, and you can just type this to kind of speed the process because it's a lot of scrolling. Applications. Open that up, and then you want to find Python. And you want to basically skip um, Python compiled files or file. What is that? File. You want to skip that and go to Python.file. Do the little arrow, the you know, the extended. You want these are your two important ones right here: shell and shell ex. Now you want to click the expand for shell as well as edit with idle and edit with command. Oh, you know what? Scratch out that shell ex. I don't. No, you, you don't need that. What you need was is edit with idle and open. So you want to go to uh, excuse me. You want to go to command and then you're going to see your default, which is you know the default pointers and all that crap. Uh, the type, which is a reg sc. I have no idea what the sc stands for. Um, I like it that it has a z in it. But and then this is the important part: the c colon slash python twenty seven python w.exe and then if you notice it's pointing to two particular places so you have the python w.exe which I think this actually helps with your um, uh, the overall system and then well the overall python system not your computer system and then your python oh I, I didn't change this back but before this was also python 27 whatever but you want to you want to have it pointed to the uh, it's going to go to idle.pyw which is the actual shell itself. So you want to go to when click default, right click it, click modify. And because I do want uh, Python version 3.3.0 to be my default Python version, I'm going to change this 27 to a 33. And I did this once before. I actually I actually did it, did this, I recorded it before without any editing and first time just testing it out. But then I realized the microphone wasn't set up, so you got nothing but the movements with no with no voice, which would have been annoying. And I could have, you know, Lewis advised that I do a voiceover of it, and that's just annoying and it's boring because then you have to watch and then predict where you're going. I, I do this all on the fly. I don't really plan these things out. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I like to be 100% real, uncut. Unless I cut it, then it's real but edited. So anyway, you want to change anything that has 27 or whatever version of Python beforehand to the version of Python you want. How do you? How do I know that it's Python 33? Simple. You can go to your file manager thing over here, and you want to go to your local C drive and see how it says Python 33. I also have Python 27. Where's my other Python folder? Oh no. Python 27 is right here. By name, please. There we go. So you see, I have Python 27 and Python 33. So that's how I know that these that the files are going to be the same names on the inside, rather just you're changing the version. So Python 27 stands for 2.7, Python 33 stands for Python 3.3. So I want 3.3.0, so I'm going to switch everything to Python 3. Point, well, Python 33. 
So as you can see here, quotations, Python 33, close, open Python 33, we're good to go, do not worry about the dash E or the percent one, that's something for the computer to do, you know, just don't, don't, just don't worry about it. Uh, then you want to go to the open folder and then command down here and do the exact same thing. Right click on default, modify it, and then change this to 33, and then click OK. And we're done. You want to go ahead and close this out. Forget that you ever saw that window if you're not experienced using it, and then you're pretty much safe. So now you want to go to right, you know, right click your Python file, uh, click Edit with Idle, uh, and then it's going to come up. And if I press F5 to do a you know compile and run, it's going to open up in Python 3.3.0. Nice, classic, fun, and sexy. So. Uh, that's a simple kind of sort of advanced tutorial on how to change the default pathways of your Python programming and shells and etc. Uh, again, if you're not experienced, I'm, I will look into making a program that can change these automatically, but it'll, it probably will only work with uh, like default places that you set it. I don't want to make a program that has to search through your entire, you know, disk drives to look for Python number number. It is it would be annoying and difficult and completely. I could create a basic one, but then it will only work for some people who it, it, you get the idea. So that's basically kind of what you know system programming and everything's all about. You want to fix something or change something, you find you know you, you go searching, you go editing, you go playing basically. If you break it, you fix it. If you can't fix it, you Google it. If you can't Google it, you you Google it again. You Google it again. You Google it. So that's basically it for this video. We just passed our 11 minutes mark, about to hit 12. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video. It helps us out greatly. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That also helps us out greatly. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If I made any mistakes on explaining something or you think you can explain that better, leave them in the comments below for the viewers. Um, you can also visit www.essenceofzen.org. We have a forum online that we're still working on. The entire site is still being worked on, but it is, it is at least right now presentable and working and operational. Um, yeah, that's basically it. This has been Zeno coming from Essence of Zen. Hope you all enjoy it. Until the next until the next time guys, I'll catch you later. Take care.